probably let's throw Benji in there if we had to pick just one only. I mean, there's too many good traits amongst all. Well, let's get to Celebrity Apprentice Australia. Um, you sort of mentioned this at the start. I was asking, you know, what made you take up um, the offer on this one? I think you were saying at the start it was just to challenge yourself and um, do something different. Is that right? Yeah, definitely, definitely challenge myself. Um, I'm always on who's open to sort of going out into the deeper waters and, and trying something new. And uh, that definitely was the case on the show. Something that I've I've had little bits and little bits of experience of over my life, like working in sales and stuff. And I, I never really enjoyed it though. So trying to sell things I find really, really difficult, which look, everyone at some point is gonna have to sell something in their life, yeah. whether it be sort of um, like their skill set or how they work. Um, but I just, yeah, I'm not really all that confident. I, I guess I developed other attributes of myself and I use those, um, more so throughout my life. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it was really interesting to have to delve back into that space where I'm really sort of uncomfortable. And that was the main reason why I jumped in the show. I, I know I'm all, we need to sort of test ourselves to better ourselves. And that's, that was my main reason for jumping on the show um yeah i'm pretty sure that you wouldn't get intimidated too often being your size but how was uh alan sugar is he pretty intimidating was was that a bit different for you yeah lord sugar he's um he's a really imposing character hey he's, there's not much to him but <laughs> on top of like i don't know he's just got this real sort of alpha presence hey so like so like real alpha type presence so and then when you find out what he's worth too, I don't know. I just always find when guys are worth a couple of billion dollars, it always adds a bit of extra kick into their uh, their aura or their sphere around them. Hey, so he, um, I like Lord Sugar though. But he, yeah, when when you're in that boardroom, it gets pretty heated and pretty tense, pretty quick. So I look forward to seeing everyone's perception of the boardroom because I was. Um, I did speak to Olivia uh, about going onto the show this year. And she um, she just warned me before. Olivia, sorry, Olivia Vivian from Ninja Warrior, yeah. and she said, "Mate, just prepare yourself. The boardroom is super intense." And I was like, "I've been in some intense situations in my life. I'm sure I can handle it." And going in that boardroom, I don't think I've ever been in anything more intense than that space. So it's um, yeah, it's it's interesting when you're there because it's yeah, it's it's thick the tension. So it's um. Yeah, I, I look forward to seeing everyone else's reaction to it when it when it is. I am interested to know about those boardroom scenes. I'm, I'm guessing that would have been like a difficult place for you to be in. I mean, you don't you don't seem to be overly confrontational and stuff. And there's people bitching and um, you know trying to put each other down or, or say someone else's it's their fault and all that kind of stuff. How, how did you go with that sort of stuff? Well, I'm the first person to always fall on my own sword and take the blame for stuff. So, um, I, yeah, that was really confronting. <laughs> People were just throwing shade at each other heavily, throwing um, darts or <laughs> at each other's heads, um, or knives in the back, I guess is what you call it. Um, yeah, that was a, an odd space for me to be in because I'd usually just put my hand and say, hey, guys, everyone, that was it was my fault. But you can't do that in this show because that's the end of you. So, yeah, I had to I had to learn quick how to uh, put the put the deuces up and get ready to defend yourself. And uh, yeah, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can give away. I mean, it's not really really a spoiler though, because um, it's not just the boardroom. Um, this season. Uh, the bitchiness between the guys was probably more intense than, than the girls. What was going on with the guys? It was pretty full on. Yeah, look, we're, look, we're all pretty, um, I guess we're all pretty um, bossy in all of our lives and we all know what we want and all know how to sort of go after those in our own way. And uh, mm. I guess we go to loggerheads against each other, <laughs> a couple of egos. and. Um, yeah, it made it difficult to sort of focus in on the task and get it done as efficiently as we could because people were standing up wanting their voices heard. And yeah, it's going to make for some good TV. Can you tell us? <laughs> Tune uh, in and um, yeah. 
Can, can you tell us a, a, bit, a bit about one of the or, or a challenge or something that you've been in? I can imagine with this show that it's all about making money. So I'm guessing the shirt's going to come off. Yeah, it's probably going to come off multiple times to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't particularly like enjoy doing it. But look, if it, if it's if it's for a charity and a good cause, then I'm willing to do what the team needs me to do. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to help if it helps someone else. All right. Um, and just before we leave um, Celebrity Apprentice, um, with the cast, um, I just wanted you to pick one um, for these areas. Who, who was the most competitive in the show? Most competitive? Um, probably Benji. Yeah. He's a very competitive cat. <laughs> He, um, no, Benji's, Benji's the alpha and he likes to run things. So, yeah, I want to say Benji. That, yeah, there's a couple of close, but Benji, yeah, he knows how to win and knows what to do to win. And who's, who's most likely to, um, like, turn on someone in the boardroom to say to themselves, it's their fault, it's their fault, and just and, and try to get out of trouble? All of them. All of the <laughs> above. <laughs> Except you. Oh no! Oh, there's a couple that are that are that are that sort of say themselves, but um, it's gonna be plenty of drama this season. So no, <laughs> we haven't fallen short in in that regard. Um, in particular, um, yeah, Ronnie and Jared, they're the uh, yeah, Ronnie, Jared, there's a couple of the girls too, Gamble. Yeah, mm. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> All right. Um, and last one, who would you like to invite over for a barbecue? Who did you click with uh, in the cast? Oh, there was heaps. Like, you want me to name one? Or would you oh, one, one, two, two or three. Like, I just, yeah, one, who, two who, or three. <laughs> who did you click with? <clears throat> Benjamin, um, I imagine. I clicked with a lot of people, yeah. Um, ben... Um, Benji, Darren, Will and Woody, oh, yeah. Gene, yeah, like, like I, those heaps that I did click with. I guess, look, if I had to, I had to pick one to bring to a barbecue, um, oh, yeah, close of sort of Will and Woody, Darren, and Benji, and I probably couldn't split the three of them there. They're all, they're all going to bring something to a depends on the occasion, to be honest. Like, if, if you need. Comedic effect, you got Will and Woody. Um, Darren can spin a yarn, like chew your ear off, um, but real good stories too. And then, but Benji's a jack of all trades, so he covers so many bases, you know. I'm sure he'd be able to cook, so he's going to contribute that way. He can play guitar, play any instrument you can think of. He's just literally a jack of all trades. He can play a game of touch footy with the kids out the back. I don't know. Probably, let's throw Benji in there if we had to pick just one only. I mean, there's too many good traits amongst all. And the the girl singers, we had Amy Shah, um, who was in, um, Sammy, Sammy J. Man, they're all just, yeah. Just, yeah. Depends on the occasion. Let's just yeah. roll with Benji to answer the question. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Now, if you really, 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 really did enjoy this video, please click on the subscribe button so you can be notified of more videos like these.